This USB right here costs more than $10,000. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about this little USB right here and why for just a very normal looking silver USB, it costs more than 10 grand. The answer is very simple and it's because it is an Archicad licensed dongle. It costs 10 grand to acquire one of these USBs to be able to run the software. However, this isn't your only option because you can very quickly and very, very easily lose this little USB here and you've lost yourself 10 grand. So today, let's talk about all the different licensing options that you have right now in 2020, the end of 2020, almost 2021, for Archicad 24 and moving into the future. Okay, so obviously you have the very expensive dongle that you don't really wanna be throwing around like I did. It can break, it can damage very easily. It is their hardware key option. It is a physical device. You can plug it into your computer anywhere you go and you automatically have a license. You don't need the internet to connect to anything. You don't need any sort of remote connection. You literally plug it in, wait for the light to go green, disappear and you're good to go. Now there are a couple shortfalls with the hardware key option. Obviously it's a physical key. It's very small, it's just a standard USB that you can lose very easily. If you throw it up in the air, you can probably damage it if you don't catch it. If somebody comes along, whacks it out of your computer, again, you can damage it. Somebody can easily steal this. I don't know why, they probably wouldn't know what it is, but they could steal the USB out of your car if you left it or from your home. So that's definitely an option that results in this key being even more expensive than it already is. The other downside is a simple fact that it is still USB-A. So I don't know if you guys can see this, I'll do some B-roll on it, but basically it's still USB-A. If you need a USB-C option, there is very minimal options out there from Graphisoft to be able to supply you with a USB-C hardware key. All the new Macs coming in are USB-C, even the Surface Pros coming in are USB-C. Most of the desktops are even converting to USB-C. So this little guy is probably gonna be obsolete very, very quickly until they start rolling out more USB-C options. Now I think I said USB-C there about 10 times, so apologies for that. Another shortfall is the simple fact that you just forget. So for example, this guy usually lives at my office 24 seven. I leave it plugged into my desktop and I forget about it. However, ever since COVID started, I'm either working from home more or I'm traveling a lot more and doing my work on the road. So for me, I'm starting to take this thing everywhere with me. It's become habitual now, so I finish the day, unplug it, put it on my key ring and move on. But at the start, I used to forget it all the time and that's what led me to creating this video today. You do have a secondary option which is available as well and that is the software key version. So the software key version sounds great in theory, but it has its pros and cons as well. What the software key version is, is basically a downloadable license key. It means when you connect to the internet, you can download that key from the cloud directly to your computer. However, the issue there being is that once you have finished using that key, you have to release it back to the cloud. If you don't release it back to the cloud and you jump onto another computer, it's literally the same problem you had before where you forgot your little dongle. So if you have a good memory and you're not gonna forget to release that key, it's definitely a better option and a much safer one. If you're running a large office on the other hand that has many staff members, some of which you can't rely on or some of which you just don't wanna take the chance with, well then having a software key might be a bigger problem because you could have 100 licenses and 110 staff, for example. Only 100 would ever be on Archicad at any given time. However, 20 of those people are unreliable and always forget to re-upload their key to the cloud. This means more often than not, you're gonna have some of your staff members unable to access Archicad. That is an issue because staff members not working means staff members not making you money. So that's where the hardware key has the advantage. If it's always plugged into the computer, it's never lost, it's always ready to go. The software key isn't exactly as simple as just plug and play either. There is a little bit of IT setup involved and required to be able to run a software key for an office, large or small. So for example, if you have a software key, you're more than likely gonna wanna host it 
on one single computer that has an uninterrupted power source and an uninterrupted internet source. Because the second you lose power or the second you lose internet, you no longer have access to those licenses. It's hosted on that one computer which can distribute to anybody around the world that has internet access. Your licenses can be borrowed from the cloud, which is a good thing if you don't have internet access and you're going out remote somewhere, a couple hundred k's into the desert, you still need to use ArcCAD, you can borrow that license, not worry about Wi-Fi and just keep working. So that's, that's not really here nor there. The issue becomes that you need a secondary machine sitting somewhere in the office, like the old host server computers, for example, that literally just sits there and runs cloud software. Nevertheless, both options are gonna cost you the same amount of money to license. ArchiCAD is a proprietary program that requires you to pay the price for the good software. That's not what we're really talking about today though. The two licensing options have their pros and cons. Personally speaking, I still think that the hardware key is the better option, hence why I'm still holding a $10,000 USB. In my personal opinion, I believe that making people remember to take something with them is a lot easier and a lot more convenient than having to rely on a constant power support, constant internet connection, and basically uninterrupted IT issues. We all live in a world where we know that is never gonna happen. IT issues are a problem all the time. Internet dropouts happen more often than not. Power is definitely out of your control. If you have a laptop, the power goes out, oh well, you just keep working until your laptop dies. You'll probably get an extra two or three hours of productivity in. So yeah, that's why I personally believe that the USB option is still the better option in 2020. Maybe one day we're gonna have a much easier system where it's all already hosted with Graphisoft. You don't have to worry about it. They do all the monitoring. You just sign into your company username, password, download the key, away you go. But until that day, the $10,000 USB is the way to go. Anyways, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button to help it with the YouTube algorithm and smash that subscribe button if you wanna see more of my content.